Hey everyone, Ed here with Michelle. Hey friends, how's it going? We're in another parking garage, but we are not at another casino. Mm -hmm. I bet you you guys thought we were at a casino. We are in Cleveland, Ohio. Check it out. We are at one of the jewels of Cleveland, Ohio, the Cleveland Museum of Art. That's right, we are here to get some culture. Are you ready to get some culture, Michelle? Oh, yes, because they got a knight in shining armor yeah. on his horse. All right, let's get in there and show you guys one of the beautiful thing, jewels that makes Cleveland awesome. The museum is up there. I'll spare you guys the steps. Let's get up there and check it out. Okay, we are in the lower level entrance, P2, Entree Arrive. All right. It's like cold out there today. It's like it's a very sunny out, but it's like 27 degrees. So this is definitely a great day for some indoor activity. With the great indoor. That's right. Like, comment, and subscribe. And did you guys know that the Cleveland Museum of Art is free? That's right. And uh, on every third Saturday of each month, it's a sensory they, for people that are visually impaired from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Saturday, every third Saturday of each month, they do special functions for people that are seeing or eyesight impaired. Oh, wow, that's so, awesome. All right, so let's get in there. Okay, we're going up an elevator. We are either, there was a staircase we could take. This is going to take us to the main lobby area. All right. You ready, Michelle? All right. That's, ooh, I, it's, like I said, it's been a while since we've been here. So we will get the tickets and then we'll go from there. Okay, they even have a coat check that's free. And the, the woman at the, uh, the ticketing was telling me, oh, it's free. You don't have to pay for a ticket. And the coat check, so. Oh, wow. Check this out. I everyone. thought this was outside. And well, it's a... almost like it is outside, except they have like a dome over it. I love it. Wow. John Huntington, Horace Kelly, wow. There's like an atrium in here, some trees. And they actually have a cafe. And, the, and there's a gift shop over there. Well, we'll check that out later. But isn't this, well, we haven't even started, and this is already epic, okay? Yeah. What do you think, Michelle? Wow. What a way, great way to spend a Saturday afternoon, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. This is really cool. I thought this was outside until you walked through it. And here is the atrium. <laughs> well, let's go in there. I think that's where a lot of the art ex 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 exhibition, whatever. Exhibit. Exhibit. There you go. Hello. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to the Great Indoors. Okay, we are in that first section. This is Apollo. Let's keep it rated G. Okay. <laughs> I hope the light is okay for you guys. Ooh. See now, I'm gonna just say this. I'll get this out of the way, so you guys have a little understanding about me. Uh, art has always been a big part of my life. Um, growing up, my sister was always the one to be doing sketches, and she was doing portraits. She actually attended the Cooper School of Art, which is here in Cleveland. I don't know if it still is, but she actually has a profession using her art skills. So. Art has always been something that has been instilled. And the way she says it to me, you know, being a videographer is a form of art. Making these YouTube channels and putting it together so it makes sense for you guys is all an art. I'm not the draw her that she is, but I seem to be able to make something out of nothing with these videos, I hope. Hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do enjoy making it for you guys. On the way in here, um, you drive down Martin Luther King, and there's a thing called the Cultural Gardens. And every country pretty much in the world is represented with their, their flag and some artwork. So I feel like I'm at a cultural extravaganza here at the uh, Cleveland Museum of Art. That looks like an Egyptian sarcophagus or something like that. That is outstanding. If you really think too hard about it, it's actually, this is the coffin of Nesca Nona from 
976 to 899 BC. Wow. That is epic. Okay, we've only just begun here. I've, I was just in the West African section. Yes. A lot of beautiful art, like head masks and stuff like that. Right. And uh, some sarcophaguses from ancient Egypt are in there too. You would like this uh, Greek, uh, Greek Romans. Yeah. And then um, that's in through the exit door. And then I was walking through that door. She's saying Greek Roman, like from Rome? Ancient okay. Greek. Ancient Greek or Rome? Ancient Greece. Okay, ancient Greece. Okay, That's it. all right. I'll go check it out. I'll be, yes, I'll be over here, and you'll be over there. Okay. Oh. I was uh, watching a video on uh, artwork in Rome. Now this is a little bit off topic, but when they used to, you know worship the Greek gods and there was a lot of artwork in Italy before Christianity took over and what when the church took over Rome basically they ended up cutting off all noses on all the artwork because they felt it was uh, like this notice how the noses have been removed that's from the Catholic Church doing that because they felt that it was hedonistic or whatever to be worshiping false gods. So that's where that all came from. So when you see one of these statues that has their nose intact, be thankful that it wasn't broken off by the Catholic Church. Okay. Look at this. This is the statue of an athlete. All right. Here's some more examples of incomplete artwork. This is the uh, archaic from the archaic period of Greece, uh, the torso of Koros, Koros from 575 to 550 BC. It's made out of marble, and it's basically a, a child. And it's incomplete. They do not know why or how it got damaged. But we're lucky to have it here at the Cleveland Museum of Art. I think they believe they got it here in 1953. And then this is the head of the horseman known as the Neon Head from 550 to 540 BC, the Archaic Period. And it was basically um, a member of the horseman owning aristocracy or an equestrian victory or it represented a mythological figure sub, such as Poseidon, the son of Theseus. So a lot of the history is shrouded in mystery and, and why it's incomplete like this. But like I was saying before, you know, a lot of things when the, the Catholic Church got in power, a lot of these statues were damaged. So that could be a reason why a lot of these statues are incomplete. Don't quote me on that. Morning, Virgin Mary and St. John. And there's G. 
Jesus. History Museum was on the way in here too. This whole area has some outstanding museums in Northeast Ohio. In the University Circle area. We both are going our own separate way right now. Now we're getting more away from the statues and more into the paintings. The Madonna of Humility, Militine, 1370, Caterino Valenziano. This looks like it might have been a pope at one time. Oh, the Bishop Saint of Donner, St. Louis of Toulouse, 1400. The coronation of the Virgin with the Trinity. Jesus. Okay, I just walked up these steps to the next level. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. Michelle is up on this level somewhere. That's all I know is that she's on this level. And look at this. You go through here. And look at all the... Um, it's like an armory over there. Oh, how cool is that? The building itself is a work of art. Wow. This is in Cleveland, Ohio. The Cleveland Museum of Art. What a jewel to represent this area. Look at this. It's only fit. I was just watching Highlander earlier today. I feel like I'm doing the movie here with all the, the swords and stuff like that. The White Knight. All right. Look at this. Who's this young man over here? Portrait of Charles II, King of England. This is from uh, 1602 to 1674. Nice. The Making of Armor. This is a complete suit of armor designed not only for personal protection, and also for the proper weight and distribution and comfort. Comfort doesn't seem to fit with oh, armor, I don't know. I think Frank the neighbor would be jealous of this. Look at these crossbows over here. Oh wow. Who would have thought that a crossbow could be a work of art, but it is. 
I wonder how many people were killed or animals with those uh, with those uh, arrows over there. This is pretty cool. Oh, by the way, hit the like button and subscribe for the great animals. Here at the Cleveland Museum. He was watching me, following me. Are you watching me? <laughs> that would be cool if he moved. All right. <laughs> There's an early version of Neo from The Matrix here. You're probably wondering, what the heck are you talking about? Let me show you. Look at this guy over here. I think he was ready to enter the matrix. Look at that. Pretty cool. Neo before his time. All right. There's this little walkway outside. I just left the door back there. And now I'm in this like this outdoor walking area, but it's actually indoors. It's encased in glass. But this is a good look of the University Circle area. Actually, I, I don't think I can go out there today. It is cold. Maybe that's a good thing that I don't go out there. It's like 25 degrees out there. And there's University Hospital over there. We're not far from the Cleveland Clinic. And then there's University Circle back there. There's a lake over there. Some more artwork outside. Pretty cool. This is the other area that I wanted to show you guys. When we came in earlier, there was a, that, that atrium type place. I believe Michelle is in this area right now. Okay, I don't see Michelle, but I do see what she was talking about. She's around here somewhere. But this is a, it's, it's temperature environmentally controlled over here. So it's beautiful in here. It's a perfect, like 68 degrees in here. Still finding Michelle. She's got to be around here somewhere. But that walkway goes all the way around to the other side over there. Pretty cool. And there's, like I said, the gift shop. If anywhere Michelle would be, it would probably be the gift shop. She loves her gift shop. Oh, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Great Indoors. All right. Okay. With a little bit of work and a help from uh, an attendant here, we... He helped me find Michelle. And he was saying that Matt Mar Marilyn Monroe is in here. Well, I didn't get that far. I well, she's right here. Look at that. I'm more interested in Marilyn Monroe. Okay. Look at that. And you said Andy, War he said Andy Warhol is in here too. Or is this a work of Andy Warhol's? I don't know. Let me see what this says here. Yeah, Andy Warhol did this. Back in 19, he's uh, he was here between he died in 1987. So, yeah, this is a work of Andy Warhol's here. Correct. So that's what he was talking about. Now oh. you were saying something about looking at the sky. Yes. What? No, explain oh. yourself. What were you, Michelle? What were you saying? I was in that room. Okay. So this is what you're talking. Come on in here, Michelle. So this is what you were uh, talking about? Yeah, the sun, the yeah. light, and the moon, and the shadow. Yeah, those are sunspots over there on there. Barbara Bosworth, sun, light, moon, and shadow. Wow. That actually feels like you are hitting that tree. By the way, I can't wait to be seeing the eclipse. Uh, uh, April 8th, we're doing a live stream. So make sure you guys join for that, okay? Yeah. It's going to be pretty awesome. epic. Stand here, stand here, yeah. and see if you can see the bumps on the moon. Oh yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just taking it all in, Michelle. It's hard with the camera to pick up what you're saying. That's why I'm trying to keep in mind that we're making a video here, you know. But the, what is that? A comet over here? A comet in the sky? That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Look at that. And the, I guess we just landed something on the moon now, the United States, NASA. Did you hear okay. about that? No, I didn't. It not. landed on its side, but they're, they're going to be downloading pictures, new pictures from the moon coming up. So, yeah. 
All right. This has so much meaning to it. It's it's ridiculous. You see a railroad track and this city that's all blighted and everything. You can like, oh, it could be anything like industrial city in in the the Iron Belt, you know, or the Rust Belt now. But um, it's actually a German artist that did this, and it's his interpretation of the train tracks leading into Auschwitz. And it's very impactful if you really take it all in. Sobering, too. Mm. The artist on this one is Anselm Kiefer. Now, this is all about the um, death camps in Germany, basically. Michelle. She's speechless. Mark that down in your calendar. A time that Michelle is speechless. Wow. Okay. Okay, Michelle. We've been here for a couple hours already, and we right. really have only scratched the surface here. Oh, but, yeah. But also, we are getting hungry, so... How about we wrap it up here and head out to Geraci's? It's a pizza place in downtown Cleveland. Okay. Never been there before, but I hear it's pretty good. And we could come back another time to explore the rest of this place. Yes. What do you think? Absolutely. This is the way, there's the gift shop. We could check that out before we go. And then the way we came in is right down where that woman went over there. So we'll close it out over here. And then I'll see you guys at Geraci's. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe to The Great Indoors with Ed and Michelle. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. This is the Province Cafe, and they do have flatbread pizzas, melty sandwiches, local beef burgers, chicken and vegetarian options, house-cut fries, art-inspired selections, chef collaborations. Looks like they have a sushi section in there. I don't know. I still am committed to going to Geraci's, but... If you do, if you're here at the Cleveland Museum of Art and you don't want to go anywhere, you could get everything you need right here. I don't know. The hours are uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 11 to 3, so it's closing pretty soon here. I think it's almost coming up to 3 o'clock right now, so I don't want to feel rushed. Anyway, Michelle's at the gift shop. I better gather her before she ends up buying the store out. And I'll see you guys at the Geraces. Now, as I'm driving down to Geraci's, we're coming upon the old Agora over here. And I know uh, my sister has been to a few concerts here in the day. And there it is right there, the old Agora. But um, again, you know, I've been talking about going to Geraci's for the longest time because it's right by the casino. But in all actuality, Michelle was saying, hey, you know, why don't we get something at Little Italy, which is right in that area of the Cleveland Museum of Art. But because I'm obsessed with going to Geraci's, that's why we're going there. So, yeah, downtown Cleveland is straight ahead, and Geraci's is on Prospect. So I'll see you guys there. Now we're coming up to Playhouse Square. Again, we're on Euclid Avenue, going into the downtown Cleveland area. And this is the Playhouse District right here. And there's a funny girl is playing at the, the Connor Palace Theater. Pretty cool. Ooh, Wicked's coming back, Ed. Wicked. And there's the State Theater. I think um, Mrs. Doubtfire was playing there for a while. Queen's Night. A lot of renovation going on here. There's a place across the street to get something to eat if you don't want to go too far. Chandelier. Look at that okay. chandelier there. That is pretty awesome. Yep, there you go. There was the Cleveland Playhouse area. Awesome. Okay, we just parked the car. We're uh, um, across the street from the House of Blues. And if you go down a little ways, there's uh, Public Square. And the, uh, I think that's the Soldier's Memorial. And then there's also a Moses Cleveland statue over there, too. 
and right off to the left is the Jack Cleveland Casino. But we're not going there today. All right. Right, Michelle? No casino today. Aw, uh, shucker rocker. <laughs> Are you, we gotta go this way. We gotta cross okay. and go over to Prospect to okay. get to Geraci's, okay? Okay. All right. So what do you think of this place, Michelle? I've been down here before because of Pidwick and Bob. You were, but I wasn't. What the heck are you doing coming down here without me? What the well, heck? What do you think I came down here? I don't know what you're I doing. I came down here with my mom for General Hospital. Okay. Yeah, I gave that guy back there a $5 gift card for oh, that was Giant very Eagle. Nice of you, you so know. he'll get he'll have to use it for food and not something else, okay? That's right. Okay. Here it is, Geraci's Pizza by the Slice. You ready to get in there? Sure. All right, let's go. All right. We got three people waiting for us to give them change on the way out of here. Okay. All right. I think it's you, you, you order and you grab a chair. I have to blank out the music when we were in here because there was a lot of loud 80s music so I'll mix in some music as I talk over the pizza over here and then I'll show you some pictures we took from the inside of the store because there was an outdoor eating area where we were able to eat at where there was no music so after I show those pictures and this pizza I'll bring you guys back out where we are getting ready to chow down on this pizza from Geraci's Slice Pizza Shop. Awesome. Check it out, man. They got a classic Millipede tabletop video game here. Oh, man. I can remember playing that. Pretty cool. Okay, there's like a courtyard that's enclosed outside of Geraci's because inside the restaurant there was a lot of music. And I don't get me wrong, I love Phil Collins and In the Air, Air Tonight, but it would definitely get us demonetized. And we don't want that. This is my lasagna. Oh, yeah. And garlic. And you can smell those. I can smell it right from here. It smells good. And I may be smelling my pizza, though. This is the Tito. It looks like it's... Uh, the whole place it seems like it's dedicated to sports uh, icons in Cleveland. It's had the picture of Bernie Kosar, Hanford Dixon, and um, Tito Terry Francona. Well, this is called the Tito. It's got pepperoni on it. And... I think there's some sausage on there too. And this is the Bianco. It's basically a white pizza with garlic, um, uh, olive oil, cheese, stuff like that. So, Michelle, you go ahead and try. You're, no, you're not going to dip it in your marinara there? I'm going to try it first without okay. it. Oh, wow. Is it very garlicky? Gar garlicky, because it looks like it's uh, you're dro dripping crumbs there. It but is good. It is so good. You're gonna have to try one. I can't eat all this bread, but okay. It is so good. Be careful, oh. buttery. Okay. There you go. Get a good look at that. Mm. Wow. It's got a warm. It's warm. It's soft. I love the warmth, and it's got good flavor to it. Oh, yeah. Now, dig into your lasagna. Your pop is in the way. Okay. Okay. Give that lasagna a try. I'm jealous because I actually love lasagna. Okay. The cheese pool was a fail, but that's okay. Maybe next time. But not the food. That is very meaty yeah. and cheesy. Very good, and you taste everything in the bite. Ricotta, meat sauce, cheese. Try another piece, try to get a big cheese pull out of that in the middle. You gotta go into, okay. 
No. Another cheese pool fail. That's okay, okay Michelle. I'm gonna go right in for the white, the white Bianca, it's called. Look at that. You want me to film you? Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. Worth the wait. That is so good. Mm -hmm. You could taste the garlic and the cheese all together. The, uh, so good. It's, I think it's got provolone on there, cheese. I don't know. But this is uh, affiliated with the Geraces that's in University Heights, but it's a different owner. It's like a franchise. And this air, eating environment is pretty cool in here. I feel like uh, it's like an extension of the the museum that we were just at, the Museum of Art, you know? And now she's going with the marinara. All right, go ahead, give that a try. Is the marinara hot or is it cold? Because Michelle has always been a fan of cold marinara, but I like my marinara hot. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. With, with the roll. So it's a compromise then. It's not mm -hmm. hot, it's not cold, it's in the middle. All right, now I'm going to take a bite of the Tito for you. Again, you can see the pepperoni on there. Right on the end. Ooh, it's dripping. Did you see the, the, the grease dripping off? That's never a good sign. Mmm. Wow. That's got like a, a sweetness to it, Michelle, that mm -hmm. reminds me of the Pizza Hut, how they had the honey in it. Mm -hmm. That is good. Mm. You're all right. Mm. Wow. Now I know why they named it. It's got Hall of Flame flavor, just like uh, Terry Francona. <laughs> all right. I got Michelle just asked me which one did I like the most, the Bianca or the Tito. Michelle. It's that one, hands down. Really? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's okay, it's good. But if you want a little bit of sweetness okay. and, and spicy, mm -hmm. that is, it's not hot, like spicy hot, yeah. but spicy good with sweetness. I know why you're favoring that pizza. On why? Because it's baseball season. The is Guardians it? start today. That's right. It, good point, Michelle. And I, I'm actually looking forward to the baseball season. But I don't know if the Guardians are going to do anything. But baseball the always... Uh, the winning home run right there was the pizza. Baseball means spring, and spring hopes eternal, right? Right. Okay, that was pretty good. Geraces, and you got to love a place. They have Coca-Cola there. And what did you think of your... Uh, Lasagna and garlic knots? Yeah. They were really good. But they forgot my salad, so they made me one fresh and everything. There you but go. But I found a future home for our, another video for us. Addie's Diner. Nice. A diner. Yeah. And there looks like they're closing. But Well, they open at 7 in the morning and close at 2. We're not done yet. We're going to do another video. Michelle wants to go. Michelle, where, you, Michelle, yeah. you were talking about where you want to go next? Colossal Cupcakes. Yes. That's in Cleveland area too? Correct. We're going to make a whole separate video for that. So like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this one where we went to the Cleveland Museum of Art. A little bit of tour of Cleveland downtown and Geraci's Pizza Slice Shop. Very busy day today for us and we're, we're not done yet. We're going to make another video for you guys, but it's going to be a whole separate. This video has gone on pretty long, so I congratulate you for going all the way to the end and that really does mean a lot to both me and Michelle. Yes, and I am pointing to what I had to drink again today. Coca-Cola Zero. Maybe I have to change my pop ways when yeah. I turn 50. Is that the new trend? I guess so. Iced tea, that seems to be, no one wants to make iced tea for you, so you gotta go with a, a soda Coca -Cola drink. Coca-Cola Zero. I guess. Cheers, You're finally everyone. coming over to my side, okay? <laughs> all Cheers right. everyone to the great indoors. Thanks a lot everyone, bye bye.